These days, every viral reel is using this technique which makes them visually appealing and engaging. And that is adding these neon growing lines. If you use them in your editing, then this can take your videos to the next level and ultimately viral. So let's learn to create these in After Effects. First of all, let's create a composition. So click on this icon and make sure you select this social media 1080 by 1920. Otherwise, you can manually type it. If you have the Premiere Pro 2024, then you will have this option and simply press OK. And I would recommend that you install two extensions, EJ Tools and another plugin is Deep Glow. That would help you to save a lot of time. But even if you don't have it, that's fine. You can still make it. So first of all, we are going to create a new solid. So for this purpose, you can right click create new and solid or if you have the EZ tool script, then just simply click on this solid and that's going to create a solid for us. And now we need to take the pen tool from here or you can simply press G on your keyboard and make sure that you select the fill and choose none and make the stroke around six pixels. You can later on modify it as well. So now simply create a shape on the screen. So something like this and then come to the properties of the shapes contents shapes and make sure you come in these strokes and over here you will see the taper just click on these and just increase the start length and the end length to similar around 28 it's going to thin these edges because if i show you you will see that this let me just increase its pixel now it has the thick edges and if i increase this start or end length to around same so it's going to make it smooth something like this and now we are going to animate it so for that purpose come over here and add a trim part to this so click add and select the trim path and then move the playhead in the starting and open the trim path and increase the start to 100 percent that way it would not be visible click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe move one second ahead and create another keyframe for zero now move your playhead a few frames back maybe in the middle and create a keyframe on the end and then move few frames ahead and then make the end zero and now if we see our animation you can see the line comes and goes like this but at the moment it's starting from top and going to the bottom but if you want it to be reverse so just come over here and click on this path and select this option so that way it would be reverse path direction so now if we play it you can see it starts and then it goes up so you can just simply keep it this way or if you want it to look more professional or amazing just select all of these keyframes and you can press f9 and that's going to easy ease them so that way it's going to look more better and if you have one more extension installed that is the flow very useful extension then you can use this preset expo and click on the apply and if we see it now yes so this gives you the dynamic motion now our shape is perfect and now we are going to add glow to it so click on the adjustment layer on the ez tool or if you don't have it you can right click new and then you can create the adjustment layer from here as well but this saves you a lot of time now we are going to apply glow effect on it so i would recommend another extension useful extension and that is the fx console this is a free extension so you can install it so when you press control and the space bar that would show you this option and then you can search the effect right from here and press this and that would apply the deep glow effect so this is the default setting i'm keeping so you can modify all of these to get the different results so by far it's looking good but i think the thickness of this line is little bit too much so i'll select the shape layer and from the top i will make the stroke width to around 8 pixels so now it's looking good and suppose if you want to change the color of for this line so what you can do select the adjustment layer and press 
press Ctrl space bar or go to the effects and preset and search for the hue. So select this hue and saturation and then come over here in the effects control panel and make sure you select the colorize and then just over this angle to change its value and that would give you the different colors. All right, there's one more option which you need to change and that is the saturation. So make it 100 so that way you will have the proper coloring. And now you can change this color to anything you like, maybe something like this. And if we play it now, yes, you can see this looks amazing okay and if you suppose you want the different shape simply come on the shape layer and make a duplicate of it by pressing ctrl d or command d just turn off the previous one and then select the pen tool from here you will see all these options so just press alt and select anywhere and then you can just modify this shape to something like this you can add another points and make it something like this okay you can make this cool so now if you play it you can see we have this amazing shape so similarly you can just duplicate it and you can change this to any shape you like so maybe something like this so if you play it and you can use these in your editing and if you want to learn the viral reel editing make sure you check out this playlist i promise to bring more useful videos for you till then keep editing and unleash the creative in you bye